Work at the Phillips Brothers Mill always starts early, often before dawn. Gary Hendricks, the mill forest manager, is firing up this morning for a run of pine logs to be made into tongue and groove flooring. This is a routine Gary or his son Greg have done countless times, as had their grandfather Ed Phillips and their uncles before them. An early start is necessary because this mill, unlike others in operation today, can't be started with the flip of a switch. The Phillips mill uses ancient but proven technology to power the equipment. Steam. Sawmill operations are carried out much the same today as they were a hundred years ago. Steam powers everything. Electric utilities have never been brought to the property. Four steam engines power the various machines of the sawmill. The large main Atlas engine runs the line shaft that drives the log carriage, head rig circular saws, and the adjustable edger saws. The lower main saw is a 52-inch diameter blade, and the 48-inch top saw is engaged for large diameter logs. A twin-cylinder steam-powered Skagit winch brings logs from the mill pond to the log deck. A third vertical peerless engine powers a conveyor belt that empties sawdust from below the head rig. And the fourth vertical engine drives a cutoff saw. The spring-fed mill pond serves a dual purpose. The water cleans dirt and debris from the logs and allows the logs to be sorted and selected for sawing. Steam is up and sawing operations are ready to begin. Greg calls for everyone to stand clear before putting the mill in motion. Clear. Clear.
The sawyer and carriage setter load a log on the carriage. It's then secured and positioned for the first cut. The sawyer directs the cutting pattern to maximize the lumber obtainable from the log. After each pass, the sawyer signals the depth of cut to the carriage setter, who positions the log for the next cut. Slabs with irregular edges are trimmed using the adjustable edger saws. The green chain operator loads the trimmed lumber on the tram cart, where it'll finally go to the yard to be stacked and stickered for drying. The cutting and turning continues until the log is squared on three sides, then clean cut lumber production begins.